this kind of art. I say that destruction is awaiting you. I am Ota Ota, Ota Ota. Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> so hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Asi Darling. A round of applause for our new star. 30k song. 30k darlings, 30k fantastic family members to all my OGs. To my first 100 subs, to my first 1,000 subs, like, it has been an amazing ride. It has been a wonderful, like, this channel is just God. At this point, I really want to appreciate each and every one of you for having my back. For having my back, like, I am so, I am so amazed. I'm so amazed. Thank you guys so, so much for joining once again. It is another fantastic wedding video. And you know that a lot has been happening in the wedding space. Like the clips I just played. Guys, a lot of you tagged me, sent me DMs. I really want to appreciate you people. As much as you know this December period is a bit choked up. I really want to appreciate those that keep sending me clips because I have to do this video since people like it so much, okay? took light or something no all right guys let me know what you think in the comment section below what did you think like i'm sure some of you didn't see the hair but if you saw the hair like uh -uh, what was going on <laughs> this video i'm going to be talking about the major mistakes clients have made or couples make for their wedding planning major mistakes i've done several wedding videos but understand that i will keep giving you with real life experience because i'm an active wedding planner and people are still repeating some of these mistakes and if i tell you i'm sure that it will help you okay so after this reaction stay tuned for that one and i'm also going to be adding some new tips that i'm sure you have not heard of okay the second one was about the bride covering the keys you know we have done i think this has happened like in three videos so guys abby this coven kiss matter is it that you did not want to get married you know this marriage thing is not compulsory i'm a wedding planner i i know how important getting married your getting married is to my business but i actually at the other end i, I always tell people see don't kill yourself you understand don't kill yourself it has become so much of a heat and all of that and somebody was saying that all those people that were saying that were shouting men has come men has come all of them ran out oh, for shilo shilo just ended did you see the thousands of people that came out for marriage blessings uh -huh. be there sitting it's 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 a blessing i will not even sit here to say it's not a blessing but understand that um it's it will make sense for you to go into the wrong place do you understand mm -hmm. so the bride coffin kiss i don't know if they quarreled before that day or they forced her to marry or something but that's anytime i see that thing now i i feel bad it's not and she wasn't covering the kiss in a shy way i just feel like there's something wrong at that point even you the man I'm sure you should have thought like see if, if she doesn't like me is it not safer to leave her alone because what if they kill you in the night ha pico let me know what you guys think in the comment section because this thing is becoming rampant do, do, do you guys understand like ha let it not be a norm now everybody's covering kiss hey holy ghost you may kiss your bride you'll be like what <laughs> <laughs> I 
you are like the other thing I need to survive I'll be honest I'm laughing the thought of you me I am so obsessed I want to chop your heart this particular one was so cringy the bride that was kneeling and feeding um her husband while pregnant of course the kneeling kneeling to feed is normal like a lot of a lot of uh, wedding programs have that feeding part but then this bride was pregnant that's observation number one a lot of people still shall marry when they are pregnant observation number two which is the major one is the fact that the husband was not even doing anything to assist her do you get that she was kneeling down, maybe holding her hand so she kneels properly, or when she's about to stand up? And that was, and she was stressed. Understand that for those of you that want to be pregnant brides, it is stressful, though. It is stressful. Like, especially if you want to do it without a planner, it is, it is really stressful if you want to be a pregnant bride. So take your time to rest. And then make sure you have like a very supportive partner. I don't know how you are choosing these people. So for him to just sit down there like that, ah, it's a red flag for me. Another thing might be the antique and likes Jaguda things. Yes, because some of you now, uh, you won't let them, so you want to take first as a virtuous woman. Mm. In this Proverbs 31 now, you want, the, you want to take the first reading. Don't be so. <laughs> All of us now, we, our own Bible is that New Testament Bible. You want to hold the message. You are the, you are the mommy. So, you know, some women will be like, please, oh, pregnancy is not a disease. Those of you that used to carry your body like a bag of potato, please, it's not a disease. It's not because I'm, I'm pregnant, I cannot scrub the toilet. And Maybe she's that kind of person, you understand? Even while she was, um, she's pregnant, she likes doing all the jaguda things, and the guy is now used to the fact that she doesn't need help. Please. Uh, there's, no, it's, there's no competition for who can suffer the most and there's no competition for who can take the most suffering calm down when you're pregnant calm down for your health for your baby's health because stress doesn't do anybody any good though calm down mm. i see no you don't understand i can really do it huh? calm down no please know the person you're getting married to because during your pregnancy phase you see a part of your husband that hey, who allow you know if you're in the right boat or you're in the wrong boat and because most times you have already married be sure to be sure that you have asked enough questions before you get to that point so let's talk about the mistakes people make because this right here is one of the mistakes people make i want to be a missus i don't care about any other thing all these things people are saying did i complain even if it did not help me after all i'm not really pregnant like that like that i can still stand up i don't know why these people are reacting sorry auntie we are just, we are just saying you understand okay, so common mistakes people make number one is underestimating budgets like you're underestimating the budget. You're underestimating your guests. It's it's so common that they make it every single. If I do this vid type of videos every month, I will have I will have that story. And no, we are having a very small wedding, just fifty people. <laughs> Is it just between you and your husband, or you've asked your family? Because sometimes people get to underestimate the amount of money that is needed. And so I feel like proper saving is not done. See, you will enjoy your wedding better when you have counted the costs. And you have kind of like a ballpoint budget that you have set aside. I'm not saying that you should not get married if you do not have the entire money and all of that. But I'm only saying that that's the way, that's the easiest way to rest. Though. That's the easiest way. You need to have the money. At least a good amount. Especially for those of you that I'm going to get to that point about maybe uh, people that have sponsorship from family and the rest of them. But do not underestimate the budget. It doesn't sound sweet. Simply because you refuse to agree that cake has gotten to 150 or 200k or all of that you must not have the big one you can go for the smaller ones do you understand so if budget is ever going to be an issue for you it's always good to um from the beginning it's always good to set your mind to your budget work with it do not underestimate it do not say no if we cut this thing and add this thing maybe we will still get the cake but listen people do not add miscellaneous do you know how many calls you make do you know how many times you load data? Do you know how much you burn on for for your wedding planning process? This is not even your wedding plan. I'm talking of you, the couple. You will spend a lot of money, the back and forth, the time, the hours. You don't add that in your budget. Don't, don't underestimate it. Most times it's best to even overshoot the budget so that when you come, when you have excess, you know that you saved on it. Do you understand? So let's get to point number two. Point number two, start early. If you have the money, start early. Start early. 
get it in chunks we have two methods of payment in my own company you either send your money in chunk and say okay let's pay haul photo video decor this 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 give all of them 50 percent take 5 million or take 10 million and you make those payments and you rest please oh i see i want to make balance payments a month before or i want to make balance payment two weeks before in some cases some vendors do not want their balance payment too early because they tend to spend it especially this my De december weddings most people are like i have so much money in my account you people think i'm a multi-millionaire it's vendors money oh. they have refused to collect it hey Asi, please hold on a day to the wedding hold on two days to the wedding but it is best for you as a couple to be able to have released that money that way you can rest which takes me to point number three point number three plan to rest i know you're planning for your wedding i know you have other things you're doing but plan for your rest before your wedding it makes no sense to hustle and be stressed till the day of your wedding no 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 plan to rest most ways um, one of the top ways that you can plan to rest is to pay everybody on time like finish all your payments i have done several weddings that one month though the bride is like i see what are we even doing what are that thing i said we have paid everybody just go and relax just go and be doing massage and when i'll tell you when you need to come out for this hotel and you find that everything is easy on that day if you're not straight because we finished paying everybody long ago if you plan plan ahead and you pay everybody on time you will not be stressed because there's only so much a planner can do for you if you delay the payment and it's close to the time and you now have to start collecting the balance to send to me you'll be stressed it's not rocket science uh -uh, why are you stressed don't you have a planner sure you see the best we can do most times is advice but also it takes me to the next point trust your planner there's no point um collecting or engaging the services of a planner you do not trust if you don't trust the planner that's the first red flag i know a lot of people say okay as you do videos about the things you need to look out for when you're choosing your event planner i'm going to do that video but i'm just saying like one of the things is trust like vibes yes is one of them but your ability to trust the person that you're you're getting is a big deal do you get you cannot just use somebody you don't trust that way if i tell you something you still check it if i tell you go left you still want to go right because you do not trust that me telling you go left is for your benefit understand that your planner is not your co-wife we are not like a side chick everybody is doing this for your wedding to go well so try as much as possible to relax and trust the planner me personally i've done this thing for six years if i tell you that this method you want to use is not good though believe me if you decide not to believe me that's still okay because the truth is whatever um um whatever goes wrong for me it becomes video content i could just use and do content or i use it to advise another person that's you oh, we did one wedding i advised them they did not take but if you too you don't want to still take it i will still use it as another because the truth is you never get to a point where people will want to trust you wholly which is still normal but understand that as somebody that has never married before it will make sense for you to trust somebody that has potentially been in several weddings because and anytime we plan a new wedding it's almost like we are getting married all over again all the processes all the systems all the things you need all over again so very very important please trust your plan the next point for me is okay to ask for help when you're getting married then eh, leave pride aside though i feel like get, when that period you're getting married you can ask anybody for help literally call people and ask for help that your uncle that you've never called for for help or anything you can call people and ask for help because people feel obliged like i can help you for your wedding it's even better to ask for help for your wedding than to ask for help when you get married and you're in the house maybe you're asking for help for your children's school fees or that all that god forbid do you understand it's better to ask for help for wedding that way you have money to save for your marriage do you understand so do not feel bad do not feel any type of way um one um popular celebrity that had recently posted that to even attend wedding in nigeria she has to spend like 500k i've told people this thing several so she's not lying most of these outfits they make cost about 250 350k how much is her makeup how much is new shoe how much is bag how much is all the things she needs the money that she will need to spray so it makes a lot of sense to say okay most people like that spend like half a million to attend the wedding if you're their friend and you say babe please i know even if you cannot make it even if you send 200 000, 100 150 is something just send us a gift we will appreciate it we are at this spot and i would really appreciate any help because you find a lot of people that have a lot of these big friends and maybe you don't even have the money 
and at the end of the day because you feel like you're inviting so many celebs you want to now overshoot on different other budgets that would have been better for you to keep in your pocket like deco now instead of doing a normal deco you want to do a six million naira deco you want to do a big yes it can produce the other effects of oh people will come and they will spray but what if you just make it normal like your own pocket size and instead have them to so you can solicit for help and what and if they give me money they'll go and say it everywhere it's wedding it's wedding they say that they gave you money to help you do wedding eh okay for you to put your hand into the the budget that you have um kept for your marriage to use an impressors for a, a single day event do you understand that kind of thing so if you have family members most people i tell them ask your parents some parents are doing very big weddings that it would have even been better for them to give that money to their to their children directly because it will it will make more sense and then they are doing these weddings to impress their friends and you see the children they don't even have that amount in their account so if it gets to that point ask your parents for money please Oh, I want to do a big wedding. See, see, this is where my own hand will reach you. If people want a big wedding, please, you will need to bring money. Do you understand that kind of thing? So it's very important. Do not feel shy about it. It is a lot better for you to enter into your marriage and you don't need help than for you to use all your money for your wedding and enter your marriage and you need help. Do you understand? All right, so this takes me to my next point. Save, save, save. Resist the urge to spend more. I know I'm a wedding planner and if i if you want to spend money we know areas for you to spend money but try to save if you can save do you understand if there are, if there are ways for you to ask your planner like see babe do you think i will need this thing i mean personally i'm the kind of person that will be like babe, don't 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 do that one they will not notice remove this one they will not notice let's use dummy cake it will still be the same thing do you understand that kind of thing find areas where you save 50k here 70k here 25k here i know it might not seem like a lot but at the end of the day you might find out that you save close to half a million by just looking for other ways to get the same effect for cheaper not to jeopardize the entire event per se but just to you know walk around the budget save now that i've said okay you can ask your uncle ask your this it doesn't mean that they're giving you money and you take it straight you go and do shisha bar take it straight you can do some of these things are things that for, are for people that do not have budgets because i'm i'm sure you know that there are a lot of people that do not have budgets i've said this several times that you should know that this wedding that you are seeing on bella ninja some weddings that you're seeing very big most of them don't have budgets and by that um, it means the budget is whatever the bride wants so if she wants her dress to be five thousand dollars she will get it she does not have budgets so sometimes people enter those kind of weddings and they ask me oh i see this deco something like this um how much i say if you need to ask the amount it's above the budget because the people that really want it they just go like i say i want something like this for my wedding this is the date this is the time just send me invoice you know those kind of people they don't care about the money send me invoice let me make payment and go uh -huh. but if you hear some kind of money and you start feeling bad or you start feeling your partner is inadequate it doesn't make sense try as much as possible to work within your budget and still even within that budget find way to save it helps you because in the long run it's your marriage that is most important okay so the last and the most important point be prayerful ah uh, if you know this channel i'm sure maybe you came here first through our video about being prayerful about what um that lady was doing on the head and all of that but please i do not see and don't take it for granted though be prayerful hey wedding wedding planning period anything wedding is spiritual be prayerful i may be talking about budget this budget that and poor like no i have the money don't worry anything no be prayerful oh her devil can fight oh you'd have saved money before you know pa. you hear one god forbid one member of a family is sick all the money phew. before you know one business deal that you're planning as this thing come out now nah, don't marry this girl bah, business will fall through be prayerful um i'm going to add a clip there's a particular lady that is a brother shout to do prayers and all of that and works for you oh god though sadly one other of the reasons why i say be very prayerful there's a particular groom that lost his 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 parents and some of his relatives when they were going back from his wedding it's very important to pray not just for the day not just for the success of, of the wedding but also the going like 
as your guests are coming from their respective destinations and also going back be prayerful whoever is carrying your parents the kind of car they will use they should make sure they check the car before driving this is even festive period it is very important that we are very careful even as you're driving to the village please beg your uncles beg hey we are going in convoy hey the driver can drive you go you'll be moving like this they're drinking any king they're drinking glevin ditch and the rest on the steering please your life is very important be prayerful cover the journey cover the journey as you're going cover the journey cover your your home be prayerful pray anoint your compound there are certain things there are certain principles i've done a couple of videos like this watch all the videos because i can't even tell you which one every video has points uh -huh. for those of you that are always looking for points every video has points those that understand how to follow my videos understand the points you get all right so far so good these are the points are you having a wedding or you're attending a wedding this month end like this december let me know your thoughts in the comment section below please if you're attending a wedding also try to share this video with um the the bride just to also help them to know certain tips that's you might not be able to give them everything but it's always helpful for you to be able to advise your friends say please so i watch a particular video and they say be prayerful you can never tell who you're saving because maybe something is buried see oh hey anoint your compound see the, the video i watched the lady said something about having your own handkerchief nobody should touch your face with your handkerchief uh, with their own handkerchief having bouncers having um ashwabi girls that are very sharp around you when you say you're attending wedding know who is touching your back know who is touching be vigilant these are tips because most of you will be going to the village to so attend weddings you'll be seeing people you've never you've not seen for a long time it is always important you can never be too careful when it comes to things that you need to know as concerning yourself as concerning your wedding concerning your family okay hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as usual I remember your girl i see that link thank you guys so much for 30k please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys